In this video, we're going to finish out the Multiplying Polynomials free CUDA software worksheet. I'll leave a link in the description below so you know how to access those. Remember, this is the third video, so if you missed the first two, go back and watch those first since we're building up to this final video. We're going to multiply first, outside, inside, last for number 17. So we're going to do... First terms, 6k times 5k, plus outside terms, 6k plus 5, plus inside terms, 5 times 5k, plus outside, 5 times 5. 6k, 5k is 30k squared. 6k times 5 is 30k, plus 5 times 5k is 25k, plus 5 times 5 is 25. Then combine like terms to simplify and get the solution. We're going to have 30k squared plus 55k plus 25. And number 18, I'm going to change everything to addition, so we're going to add a negative 4 to that 3x in the first polynomial. So first, outside, inside, last is the order in which I'm multiplying the terms all together. So 3x times 4x is going to be 12x squared plus 3x times 3, which is 9x, plus negative 4 times 4x, which is negative 16x, plus negative 4 times 3, which is negative 12. And remember, I can do addition between each of the terms since I changed the original to addition in between all of the terms. So 9x plus negative 16x is going to result in a negative 7x. So I'm going to have 12x squared, and I'm going to subtract a positive 7x as opposed to adding a negative, and then I'm going to subtract a positive 12 as opposed to adding a negative 12. So 12x squared minus 7x minus 12 is a solution in number 18. Before we do number 19, I want to reiterate a couple of things. The first being multiplying variables with exponents. If we have a to the x and we're multiplying that to a to the y, our final solution is going to be a to the x plus y. So remember this when multiplying variables with exponents. I also want to point out that previously we multiplied a monomial by a binomial and then we multi multiplied binomial by a binomial using FOIL, the first terms, outside terms, inside terms, and last terms. However, in number 19, we're multiplying a binomial by a trinomial. The same rules still apply. Each term in the first polynomial has to get multiplied to each term in the second polynomial. So we're going to start by taking this 4a, multiplying it to the 6a squared, multiplying it to the a, and then multiplying it to the 2. And then, after we do that, we're going to take the 2 and multiply it to the 6a squared, multiply it to the a, and then multiply it to the 2. So that each term, the 4a being the first term, gets multiplied to the first term, the second term, the third term, and then the second term, 2, gets multiplied to the first term, second term, and third term of the other polynomial. Before we do this though, I'm going to switch all my operations to addition so that all my operations throughout my work can also be addition. So as opposed to subtracting an a, I'm going to add a negative a. Now let's do out the math. 4a times 6a squared plus 4a times negative a plus 4a times 2 so that takes care of this. And now let's move on to our second term. 2 times 6a squared, 2 times negative a, and then we're going to add 2 times 2. Now we'll simplify. 4 times 6 is 24, and we have a times a squared. So a to the first times a squared is going to be a to the 1 plus 2, which is a cubed. And then we're going to add 4a times negative a will be negative 4a squared 
plus 4a times 2 is 8a plus 2 times 6a squared is going to be 12a squared plus 2 times negative a is negative 2a and then we're going to add 2 times 2 which is a positive 4. Now we're combining the like terms. There's only 1a cubed, however there are 2 different a squareds as well as 2 different a to the firsts. So we're going to do 24a cubed plus negative 4a squared plus 12a squared is 8a squared plus 8a plus negative 2 is a positive 6a and then we're going to add 4 at the end. So our final solution in number 19 is 24a cubed plus 8a squared plus 6a plus 4. Moving on to number 20, we're going to switch everything to addition. So I'm going to add negative 3 and I'm going to add a negative 2k. Now I'm going to distribute. This 7k gets multiplied to k squared, multiplied to negative 2k, and multiplied to 7. This other term, negative 3, will get multiplied to k squared, will get multiplied to negative 2, and as well will get multiplied to the positive 7. Each term in the first polynomial gets multiplied to every single term in the second polynomial. So I'm going to start 7k times k squared, and then 7k times negative 2k plus 7k times 7 plus negative 3 times k squared plus negative 3 times negative 2k plus negative 3 times 7. Now let's simplify this. 7k times k squared is 7 times k to the first times k squared, which k to the first times k squared is k to the 1 plus 2, which is k cubed. And then I'm going to add 7k times negative 2k, which is negative 14k squared. And then we're adding 7k times 7, which is 49k. Then negative 3 times k squared is negative 3k squared. Plus negative 3 times negative 2k is a positive 6k. And negative 3 times 7 is negative 21. Simplifying, we have two different terms with k squared and we have two different terms with k to the first. We're going to say 7k cubed plus negative 14k squared plus negative 3k squared is going to be a negative 17k squared. So as opposed to adding a negative 17 squared, we're going to subtract 17k squared. And then we have 49k plus 6k, which will give us 55k. And then we're subtracting 21. Let's move on to number 21. In number 21, we're multiplying a trinomial by a polynomial, but the same rules still apply. Each term of the first polynomial get multiplied to each term of the second. But before we do that, let's change everything to addition. We're going to add negative 6r, add negative 6, and add the negative 4. So we're taking this 7r squared, multiplying it to 2r, and we're multiplying it to negative 4. Then we're going to take this negative 6r, the negative 6r, we're going to multiply it to 2r, and we're going to multiply it to negative 4. Finally, we're going to take this negative 6, we're going to multiply it to 2r, and we're going to multiply it to negative 4. Each term of the first polynomial gets multiplied to each term of the second polynomial. So let's start with the 7r squared. 7r squared times 2r plus 7r squared times negative 4. Then we're going to move on to our second term, 6r. 6r gets multiplied to 2r, and then 6r gets multiplied to negative 4. And remember that 6r is negative. So we have negative 6r times 2r plus negative 6r times negative 4. And then, last but not least, negative 6 times 2r, negative 6 times 2r, and then adding negative 6 times negative 4. Let's simplify this. 
7 times 2 is 14. R squared times R is R cubed. So we have 14 R cubed plus 7 R squared times negative 4, which is negative 28 R squared plus negative 6 R times 2 R, which is negative 12 R squared plus negative 6 R times negative 4 is a positive 24 R. And then we're going to add negative 6 times 2r, which is negative 12r, plus negative 6 times negative 4 is a positive 24. Then combine the like terms in order to solve. We have two terms with r squared, and we have two terms with r to the first. In our final solution, we have 14r cubed plus negative 28r squared plus negative 12r squared results in negative 40r squared but as opposed to adding a negative, let's subtract that positive. So we're subtracting 40r squared, and then we're going to add 24r plus negative 12r is a positive 12r, and then we're adding 24. Moving on to number 22, changing everything in terms of addition. So as opposed to adding 4s, I'm going to add negative 4s. So the n squared gets multiplied to 2n, and it gets multiplied to negative 4. And then I'm going to do 6n times 2n, and 6n times negative 4. And then lastly, I'm going to do negative 4 times 2n, and negative 4 times negative 4. n squared times 2n is 2n cubed, plus n squared times negative 4 is negative 4n squared, plus 6n times 2n is 12n squared, plus 6n times negative 4 is negative 24n, plus negative 4 times 12n is negative 8n, plus negative 4 times negative 4 is positive 16. Combine the like terms, two terms with n squared, and two terms with n. So we have 2n cubed plus negative 4n squared plus 12n squared is a positive 8n squared plus negative 24 plus negative 8n is going to be negative 32n. So as opposed to adding the negative, I'll subtract the positive 32n and then we can add 16. 2n cubed plus 8n squared minus 32n plus 16. And number 23, now we're multiplying trinomial by trinomial. Same rules apply, however. Each term in the first polynomial gets multiplied to each term in the second polynomial. So before we do that, I'm going to change everything to addition. So add negative 6 in plus negative 5, and then add a negative 5 at the end of the second trinomial, as opposed to subtracting a positive 5. Same rules apply. Every term in the first polynomial gets multiplied to every term in the second polynomial. So we have 6n squared times 7n squared plus 6n squared times 6n plus 6n squared times negative 5. And then negative 6n times 7n squared, negative 6n times 6n, negative 6n times negative 5. And lastly, negative 5 times 7n squared, negative 5 times 6n, and negative 5 times negative 5. So we have negative 5 times 7n squared, plus negative 5 times 6n, plus negative 5 times negative 5. Now let's go ahead and simplify this. It's 42 n to the fourth, since n squared times n squared is n to the 2 plus 2, which is n to the fourth. Then we have 6 n squared times 6 n, which is 36 n cubed. Next, we have 6 n squared times negative 5, which is negative 30 n squared. Then negative 6 n times 7n squared, negive 42n cubed. 
negative 6n times 6n is going to be negative 36n squared plus negative 6n times negative 5 is a positive 30n. Then we have negative 5 times 7n squared, which is negative 35n squared, plus negative 5 times 6n is negative 30n, plus negative 5 times negative 5 is a positive 25. Now we're going to combine all the like terms. We have one, two terms with n cubed. We have one, two, three terms with n squared, and we have two terms with n to the first. So when we write this, it's going to be 42 n to the fourth, 36 n cubed plus negative 42 n cubed is negative 6 n cubed, so we're going to subtract 6 n to the third, and then negative 30 plus negative 36 is negative 66 plus negative 35 is negative 101. So then we're going to subtract 101 n squared, and then we have 30 n plus negative 30 n, which is 30 n minus 30 n, which is 0 n, so those will cancel out, and then we're going to add 25. So 42 n to the fourth minus 6 n cubed minus 101 n squared plus 25 is the solution to number 23. Now, finally, number 24. I'm going to simplify some of this work as we go along. So I'm going to add negative 7m and then add negative 6. I'm going to change minus 3m to adding negative 3m and change minus 7 to adding negative 7. Now I'm going to do m squared times 7m squared times negative 3m and times negative 7. And I'm going to do the math in my head and write that out. So m squared times 7m squared is going to be 7m to the fourth, and then we're going to add m squared times negative 3m, which is going to be negative 3m cubed, and then we're going to add m squared times negative 7, which is negative 7m squared. Then we're going to move on to the negative 7m. That gets multiplied to 7m squared, multiplied to negative 3m, and multiplied to negative 7. Negative 7m multiplied to 7m squared is going to give us negative 49m cubed. Negative 7m times negative 3m is a positive 21m squared. And then negative 7m times negative 7 is a positive 49m. And then lastly, we're going to do negative 6. Negative 6 times 7m squared, negative 6 times negative 3m, and negative 6 times negative 7. So we're going to add negative 6 times 7m squared, which is negative 42m squared, and then we're going to add negative 6 times negative 3m, which is a positive 18m, and then we're going to add negative 6, negative 7, which is a positive 42. Now all we have to do is combine the like terms. There's two terms with m cubed, there's three terms with m squared, and there's two terms with m to the first. So we have 7m to the fourth plus negative 3m to the third plus negative 49m to the third is going to give us a negative 52m cubed, which will be subtracting a positive 52 m to the third, and then looking at our m squared, we have negative 7m squared plus 21m squared, which gives us 14m squared, and then we're adding that to negative 42m squared, which gives us negative 28m squared, so we're going to subtract 28m squared. Then we have 49m plus 18m, which gives us 67m, so we're adding 67m and then we can add 42. So the solution for number 24 is 7m to the fourth minus 52m cubed minus 28m squared plus 67m plus 42 plus 42. And that wraps up the free CUDA software worksheet multiplying polynomials. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up. Go ahead and comment if you have any questions or you need clarification on any of the problems and also, 
please go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel.